So to lay some groundwork here, as you guys know about your boy Ray, I try to do my absolute best whenever updates come out, especially before updates, to try to be on top of every single Easter egg minute detail that the dev team gives to us about this next update so we can have all the context. And today is a perfect example of that. The dev team almost got something very important by us, but I picked up on it. Nothing gets past your boy Ray. Do nothing. So of course, if you find this interesting or helpful, consider subscribing. Try to do my best to keep you guys in the loop. So where this fun story begins about one of the most important assets Easter eggs that no one is talking about inside the community was first discovered or at least talked about by me in a video about two weeks ago now at this point. In it, we were just talking about some fun stuff, you know, goodies, free rewards, things that I thought you guys might find interesting or important. But the subject of this episode was first brought up here during a speculation about possibly an Easter event around the corner. We had stumbled across this asset within the Brawl Stars fan kit. At the time, it would make sense thinking that this would be your related to a Easter event. Every single year for Easter, we get cool stuff, whether it's sprays, pins for free, a fun quest, whatever. That's what I thought it was at the time. However, things get peculiar once we fast forward to now, right? Nothing came of this pin. It is not in the game and we still have no context whatsoever about it. So if it wasn't released at a time where it made the most sense for it to come out, Something else is going on here, something bigger. Now, looking at this a little bit further, if you do go to the Supercell fan kit over here that's available to everyone, a fantastic tool for content creators, or just if you want to see literally every asset that's within Brawl Stars, you can do it. But if you type in egg under the Brawl Stars assets, you can see the green egg in question. Now, if you click on it, you can get some further details about it, right? Like the name, we have pin underscore gag. <laughs> so at the time I was like, dude, <laughs> Is that a brawler name? Gag? But no, I think this is meant to be very ambiguous. Not much information whatsoever. I think it's abbreviated G egg. So green egg, right? Just what the appearance is. But I think the simplicity of the name, just a descriptive term for the egg is by design. It's meant to be ambiguous. It's meant to not have any context. We don't need to know information about it because it's an Easter egg. It's important. It's a sneak peek. So a little bit more about the green egg here. As you can see, the collection is part of the Ragnarok assets. And if you go to the Ragnarok assets, you can see everything here accounted for. Everything within the Ragnarok assets have something tied to it, right? We can pick out anything and we can place its reason for it coming to the game. Whether it's Brawl Pass pins, sprays, skins, profile icons. The only thing that makes no sense whatsoever is this freaking green egg. So what's its story? What does it mean? Now I'd like to kindly remind you all to a very first that the dev team did last update, an Easter egg or a tool that they utilized to administer an Easter egg, and that is this asset. You guys remember the hammer, dude? We talked about this hammer on so many different occasions leading into this update that we are currently in when speculating about season 24. At the time, we thought it had everything to do with the season that was being released during that update, which we were kind of correct. Things were a little bit foggy as any speculation would go. No one's going to get it like 100% on not most of the time, but at the very least, we were on the right track. We had thought that it had something to do with one of the seasons, which it pretty much so represents the records of Ragnarok that we are currently in, but more specifically, it was tied to the BB Thor skin. Now, the significance of this hammer does not stop. As you can see, it transcends just a normal pin, and we are pretty much so given confirmation at this point that it was much more important in the Time to Explain podcast when they literally made an in real life as it of the pin. We have Thor BB's hammer there. We knew the pin had some significance, but at this time, we were like, okay. It's super important, right? <laughs> now, funnily enough, once again, if we take a look at further information about this pin, once again, it is very ambiguous. The name, pin, hammer, that's all we got. It's just a descriptive term. We know it's a hammer, but <laughs> there's gotta be more to it, but we just got hammers. So much like the green egg, it's just very ambiguous, very simple. But also much like the egg, this asset was part of the Startoon assets. I would say it was much more fitting in the records of Ragnarok. 
theme set, whatever it's called. But no, if we scroll through all the Startoon assets, they have everything to do with that update. But the only oddball out at the time was the hammer, right? It was a weird guy in the rough. It made no sense, which is exactly what's happening with the green egg as well. An oddball amongst the other assets that are being released with it at the time, or at least brought to our attention, right? It just doesn't make sense. It's very strange amongst the rest. So when I put two and two together, I knew that we were onto something much more important than what we initially thought of it just being an Easter asset. And you know, props on the dev team for <laughs> this like sneak peek asset because it did a good job being hidden underneath the veil of Easter, right? <laughs> we totally just forgot about it, but doing a little bit more digging what the community had to say about the egg when it was first come across. I stumbled across this conversation over here on Twitter. We have BTLN saying special quest for Easter spray is now available tomorrow. Green egg pin will be available in special quest probably of course nothing came of it but then this guy flez ends up saying i thought it was a pin for the next update kind of confirming my suspicion now on march 30th so i kept going very intrigued other people were thinking that flez was not onto anything crazy but little did flez know he was right on the right track way early flez then says i mean it doesn't look like an easter pin also we can see it on the 100 star drop video would you look at that screenshot, bro? <laughs> Let's go. The dev team did such a good job this time around hiding certain important Easter eggs, in my opinion, more important than the other Easter eggs underneath bigger Easter eggs, right? Within this update, everyone was distracted by the crazy new gene hypercharge, right? It's big news. We can visibly see a brand new hypercharge here. Everyone would talk about it, but no one cared to go even deeper. Not even myself at the time, right? Towards the beginning of the video, we have Danny and Martio looking at a whiteboard, and we can see it there plain as day. A green egg with some question marks right next to it, and I believe a green question mark there off to the right. Now, the reason this is so dang important is this is the exact same thing that happened with the hammer. We had suspicions about the hammer, an asset that made no sense within the fan kit. But later, our suspicions were 100% confirmed when we we saw other details about it outside of just this very weird pin. We have something coming in real life, right? Just another piece of information about it outside of it helps to confirm its importance. And that's happening this time around as well. Just this time it was well hidden, right? It was distracted over so many other important stuff, right? The gene hypercharge, Easter. <laughs> so then it begs the question, what does this mean? If it is important, what can we draw from it? What are the different possibilities. I think it has everything to do with one of the two newest seasons that will be announced in this next Brawl Talk on April 20th. But outside of that, what are the other possibilities? Much like the hammer pin, it was tied to a skin, which this very well could be the same outcome, right? Maybe like a dragon skin. Dragons come out of eggs. And seeing that we had those Mortis dragon survey skins that we've talked on numerous occasions now, it might make sense. It definitely has a correlation. But of course, where my mind always goes to is the biggest thing, the craziest outcome, and that could potentially be a new brawler. Seeing that the pin hammer was the weapon that BB was wielding, it was a bit more obvious, right? But this one's really confusing, and much more, we have some Zs going on there, something sleeping inside the Easter egg. It's giving me potential new brawler vibes, right? The new brawler is fast asleep within the egg. Hatching once it is announced in the game. Who the heck knows? It's just giving me that gut feeling. So with that being said, I think this egg potential brawler or whatever it is related to one of these updates does a good job with all of our already established speculation here recently within the last few uploads on the channel where I think it is very likely that we are going to be getting a castle courtyard trio with a ground and Ash trio. And if that's the case, some sort of like medieval dragon new brawler, I think makes a lot of sense to fit into that trio. But another interesting idea, and I'm not feeling the best about this, but 
basically just trying to come up with what would an egg be related to outside of the castle trio and what we've already established with like this mythological castle courtyard vibe that we think is coming. I was thinking maybe it might make sense for the Buzz and Doug trio as well. Doug has some really, really interesting origins, which were sneak peeked years ago over here on the starpark.biz website. Back when freaking Buzz was being released, which is crazy how long ago it was. The photos, which were already released when the website was first released, were updated with a few more photos. This was the big Easter egg that gave us information about the Buzz update when it came around, right? Dude, Easter eggs back in the day were crazy, but we had this urgent recall of floaty dino eggs, right? Having everything to do with Doug, right? He's a floaty dinosaur. He has that little thing on his neck, right? That you can fill him up with air. So eggs could be related to the Buzz and Doug trio, I suppose. That's basically just trying to figure out all different possibilities. But either way, I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. What do you think the green egg represents? I'm very certain that it has something to do with a season coming out. And a lot of our speculations, I think, kind of match up with the theme of this egg. But could it be something deeper? Could it be a new brawler residing, sleeping in that egg? Dragon brawler? <laughs> That'd be freaking dope. But yeah, man, I would love to hear what you guys are having to say. Either way, I am so dang happy we ended up picking this up before April 20th. I tried to do my best on getting everything or most important details, and this one was so close to slipping under us, right? The dev team did a good job hiding this asset under so many other layers of important sneak peeks and stuff like that, but yeah, man. Man, wow. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And yeah, we'll be talking. Adios. Take care.